Hey Summoners, it's time once again for homework and remember, never do homework on your own, never do homework in ranked. Make sure you have a full group of five friends in normal queue whenever you try anything on this show. So Katarina's been coming up quite a bit lately. It's almost, almost too much. So then the question becomes, how do you deal with a cat problem? Once the Katarina snowball starts rolling, it becomes very difficult to stop. Sometimes her harass in lane is more than enough to push out some passive AP players out of lane. Not to mention, she loves to roam, she loves to go into other lanes, she loves to get those kills. All this combined with her kit makes her one of the most banned champions in the game today. Homework this time around, get some practice in with some AP mid champs that do very well against Cat in lane. And if you don't know where to start, well, the pros are an excellent place to start. Najin Shield has found a lot of success with Rise. Instant Speed CC works amazing against Cat. Cursey Yu gave M5 some of their own medicine with Zillion in the mid. The double bombs do way too much damage. Katarina cannot deal with that at all. Finally, CLG Prime. They're very comfortable with the Orianna pick. It's very versatile. It works great. If none of those champs fit your style, an amazing place to start is Diana. The CC and the burst damage is way too much. She destroys Cat in lane. Plus, if you want a few more oddball picks, Fiddlesticks and Scion, they're pretty good. Give them a try too. Also remember, the optimal time to go in for harass is after Katarina uses her Shun Po. If she has no escape, that's free damage for you. After you're done cleaning the litter, come on back. Be sure to leave your comments and your tips on how you beat Katarina. As always, be sure to leave your suggestions for future episodes, but until then, do your homework. It is always a good time in the League of Draven. Let's talk about bot lane. Fiddlesticks was one of the most talked about supports last week. The crowd control, the damage is absolutely amazing, but he is a fragile dude. I mean, he's made out of sticks. If you lose brush control though, you're gonna have a bad time. If Caitlyn is on point with her traps, pair her up with someone like Morgana or Blitzcrank or Taric, and you can do so much damage. I mean, hey, cupcakes, they can be brutal. You know, I should, I should know. Teemo has an amazing blind, but let's face it, it's all about the mushrooms. If you feel the laning phase is gonna go on for a little bit longer than usual, give him a try, set up that fungus fortress. Support Pantheon is fun, he's got great damage, the stun is amazing, and it's pretty much only him and Gangplank as support that can actually build into Avarice Blade. And he really works well in that double bruiser bot. You pair him up with Jarvan or a Necton, if you get that lead, you're gonna keep it. Blitzstar is a combo that's actually really widely used not too long ago. You get a Sheen on Alistar, someone gets a Soul Shroud, and all of that CC just becomes a mess and a, a whirlwind of mooing and gears and, and tenderizing. I get it. No, I get it now. Alistar's taking revenge on people who eat meat. He's using the robots against us. Like, 